Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews. Peace and blessings you all out there. I pray and hope you guys are well. So, this video as you can tell by the title is all about the brand new Apple Watch Series 2 Nike Plus or Nike Plus Edition. I think I call it Nike Plus. A lot of you guys call it Nike Plus. So, leave a comment down below. Is it Nike Plus or Nike Plus? Now, it's really interesting because the last time I reviewed the Apple Watch, I completely dismissed it and that was back in June 2015. Now, June 2015 that's when Apple announced the brand new Apple Watch. We were waiting for it, we were anticipating it. And Series 1 came, A, in terms of the hardware, it was really slow at the time. B, in terms of the OS, it was really clunky and just disorganized. B, in terms of its availability. At that time, I managed to source one from someone else that come from the US, it hadn't been released here and many other markets. But since then, Apple has released Series 2. And Series 2 isn't a major upgrade in terms of cosmetics, but it has brought some changes. I went out to my local Apple store and got my hands on one of these, the Apple Watch Nike Plus Edition or Nike Plus Edition. I managed to pick up one of these. This is a, where is it, 38 millimeter um watch now i'll explain to you exactly why i got a 38 millimeter later on in this video but right now we're going to switch up the angle we're going to unbox this set it up and give you my first impressions with this bad boy ready three two one two so here we go here is the box that it comes in it's a pretty standard box. This is the Nike Plus edition. So it comes in this beautiful black box, uh, very basic information, some basic information at the back. And then on one of the sides, which I believe is over here, 38 millimeter case, space gray. And then this is the uh, black with the cool gray. So it doesn't have those traditional neon um, sort of green color that Nike Plus and Apple have been promoting. This is the other version, which I think is a bit better in terms of just keeping it under the radar. Ooh, nothing like a good unboxing, right? Wow, that's a beautiful box. Right, let's pull this up and put that to one side. Just nothing really in the back over here. Right, here's something a little different. Designed for athletes by Apple and Nike. So that's a little different from the usual designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. So we get some quick start information here. One, two, various um, languages. And then we get a spare strap now i believe on this one it's the other way around now so you get a spare long strap as opposed to a small strap let me just double check that yeah i think that is the case there is the apple watch nike plus series 2 alongside that we have the charger which is a traditional charger that comes with apple watches that has that magnetic kind of clip on one side and then we have a charging cube thing for the apple watch which since we're here in the UAE, this will come out and give you the three pin adapter. Now let's put that to one side. Let me put my white gloves on so that you guys can get a better look at it. Okay, so here it is. The Apple Watch Series 2. What makes this different from Series 1? Well, there are a couple of things. The first thing is that this is a dual core processor. So it means the original version was a single core. And really that for me was noticeable from the get-go, I noticed the limitation in terms of speed. Hopefully with the dual-core processor, it should be faster. The newer version of Apple Watch OS. So it means that again, it should be much more uh, customized for the whole experience. And the other thing is that this is now water resistant stroke waterproof so it means that this is great for swimming and taking to sort of pool dips and 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 outdoor swimming which is something that a i'm very keen on doing and b i'm keen on testing the other thing is that it's supposed to have a better display as well so let's power this thing on it's supposed to have an improved display in terms of color gamut a bit like what they did with the iphone 7 and 7 plus so it means that the colors are much more vibrant and you get a better feel overall. The strap and the build quality, and incidentally, this is now a ceramic uh, back uh, where the heart sensor uh, is over here. It just feels overall really, really good, and I love the design on the Nike Plus edition. That's part of the reason why I went for this. Now, the, one of the questions that a lot of you are gonna ask, Mquan, why did you go with a 38 millimeter? The reason I went with a 38 millimeter is because I am a big, big fan of traditional watches. This is my Rolex 11 4300 Oyster Perpetual. I have no plans on giving up 
one of my wrists for my ultimate passion, which is, you know, sort of mechanical traditional watches. So for that reason, I wanted a smaller watch to replace the Fitbit Alter, which I've been using. Fitbit Alter is awesome. So I'm going to be comparing the Apple Watch with that. And I figured getting a 38 millimeter will kind of not look as douchey as getting a... 42 millimeter it still looks douchey doesn't it but it's kind of just a little less douchier in my eyes so it's still the traditional way of pairing you go to start pairing um sync it up line it up and then boom your apple watch is paired and would say do you want the digital crown oh that's interesting install all install later i'm gonna go to choose later and that's it let's wait for this thing to start syncing now he all set up. This is the watch face that I've currently set up to it, customized. Now, incidentally, when I was at the Apple store, they told me that these two watch faces are actually unique to the Nike Plus editions. We've got this one and we've got this particular one. Pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I'm looking forward to really testing this out completely. This is the unboxing and the first impressions. Um, if you wanna see anything in particular, anything specific, leave a comment down below and you can connect with me on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Snapchat to let me know specific things that you want me to test out. I will be testing out the swimming feature. I will be testing out day to day in terms of battery life. This is the biggest issue that has concerned me about the Apple Watch for a while and in terms of recommending it as well. See you in the next video. Until then, I'm M. Kwan. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button down below, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see more kind of smartwatch related videos, then hit one of the playlists on the side. Until next time, I'm M. Kwan. Peace and blessings.